From kids in Zambia getting high off their own feces to people using audio files to try and get a buzz, we count 10 of the dumbest ways people have tried to get high. Number 10. Beezin. This strange term refers to using Burt's Bees products in order to get high. The all-natural line of organic products can apparently cause a tingly high when the user puts Burt's Bees lip balm on their eyelids. Experts say it is simply the peppermint oil producing the sensation and there are no known side effects, especially considering the organic nature of the product line. But this is definitely one strange way to get high. Number 9. Dusting Inhalant abuse, also known as huffing, is no new method to get high by any means. Today, cans of compressed air can be found in just about every home or can at least be purchased easily and inexpensively. Products like Dust Off are supposed to be used for keeping computer keyboards clean, but teens everywhere have found another use. Inhaling the product's hydrocarbons creates a state of temporary paralysis and oxygen deprivation, causing a high feeling. Though organ damage and even death are also very real consequences of dusting. Number 8. Mothballs Mothballs are another common household product often huffed. The gas emitted by mothballs is meant to be placed in a closet in order to keep hungry insects away from your clothes, but if the product were placed in a bag and breathed in, it would cause lightheadedness and dizziness. Users then become mentally impaired, lose coordination, and can even develop scaly skin as the body tries to break down the chemicals being inhaled. Number 7. Choking While this is not a drug, many play the choking game as another way to produce the same sensation as huffing. The blood flow to the brain is simply cut off either by another person's hands or arms, a belt, a rope, or any other device to the point of the person passing out. Once the blood flow has been re-established, the burst of oxygen to the brain causes a warm, euphoric and tingly sensation. Many teens will try this method to get a buzz because they believe it is a safer, more natural method to get high. Number 6. Hand Sanitizer Obviously, hand sanitizer is supposed to be used on your hands to kill germs, but some have decided to drink it instead as a cheaper method of getting drunk. Consuming a couple of ounces of Purell containing over 60% ethanol would be the equivalent of a couple of shots of vodka. As with consuming alcoholic beverages, too much can have serious side effects, including impaired motor function, memory loss, organ damage, and a huge drop in blood sugar. Number 5. Purple Drank also known as Texas tea, Sizzurp, or just drank, is simply cough syrup mixed with Sprite or Mountain Dew, and sometime a candy like Jolly Ranchers to add sweetness, and most importantly, Codine, the drug found in prescription strength cough syrup. Made popular by the rappers in the 1990s, 2000s, and hip hop culture in general, Purple Drank causes mild euphoria for its users. It can also produce lethargy, drowsiness, and in high enough doses can depress the nervous system and cause breathing to completely stop. Of course, the high sugar content can also lead to excessive weight gain and tooth decay. Number 4. Nutmeg In the United States, many teens have tried to get high by eating, drinking and smoking spiced nutmeg. Nutmeg oil is said to produce mild hallucinations and a warm feeling in the limbs due to it containing a tiny amount of myristicin, a psychoactive drug that requires hours to manifest and can last for multiple days at a time. Although it also leads to nausea, vomiting, headaches, dizziness, dry mouth, at times terrifying hallucinations and the worst hangover known to man. Seems like it should just continue to be used to bake tasty treats instead. Number three, salamander brandy. Created in Slovenia through means of horrific animal cruelty, salamander brandy is the infusion of traditional brandy with the venom of salamanders used to defend themselves. Salamanders produce toxic mucus from the pores in their skin used to protect themselves. To create salamander brandy, the animal is drowned in a bowl of fermenting fruits, tossed out after death, and the remaining mixture of alcohol and salamander mucus is distilled into brandy. The concoction is said to produce a high similar to LSD and ecstasy combined. Number 2. Eye Dosing In the age of technology, of course someone would find a way to produce a digital high. Various internet sites offer eye dosing, mp3 downloads that, when listened to through stereo headphones, creates a psychological effect similar to getting high. The user simply listens to a different sound or beat in each ear said to produce a distinct sound inside their head. 
feelings and sensations similar to using marijuana or acid have been reported, and researchers say listening to music in this way can upset the body rhythm and sleep cycle patterns. Number 1. Jenkum After a story in the New York Times back in 1998 revealed that street children in Zambia were getting high off Jenkum, the fumes created from fermented human feces, brilliant people everywhere decided to give it a try. Jenkum is created by allowing human urine and feces to ferment in a bottle with a balloon covering the opening. The disgusting concoction is hopefully an urban legend or terrible prank being played on drug addicts around the world, but technically speaking, inhaling the naturally produced methane would produce a high as oxygen levels would be lower inside the body. Gross.